Hey, Lauren. Oh, let me take my earphones out. I always have those in. Oh, that's because they were plugged into here because I was listening to your video. All right, I only have 15 minutes to talk about everything I want to talk about, and I want to talk about a lot. Um, I know I just posted a 14-minute long um, vlog about, you know, not-so-happy topic, Phoebe. And, um, but I wanted to... I wanted to post a video response from my main channel to Lauren, who is Grocery Bag. Um, you asked some amazing questions, and I really love that you posted. Um, I love that you posted that video. It made me think. It. I had to marinate on it for a little bit after I watched it, and then I watched it a second time, and I made some notes. And the first of which is Happy birthday to your brother. I hope that you have an awesome. Um, I guess you're going for a couple of days, and I hope you have a really fun time with him, and I hope his birthday is wonderful. Um, the second thing that I want to say is I apologize um, for any offense that may have, I don't know, because I looked back and I saw that Eden commented that she does um, positive thinking, and in no way did I mean to say, like, um, that you don't. I did some research on atheism. Athe atheist? Atheism. I don't know which it is. Ha! Ah, didn't research that good, did I? No, um... I did some research, and excuse me. And, um... To try and figure out what it is that atheists do believe. Because, I mean, to be honest, I I'm really not completely sure what exactly... And, I mean, from my research, what I've gathered is that everybody believes something a little different. Um, which is kind of the general rule of thumb with religion. Now, I'll give you a little bit of background about me. I went to uh, Penn Christian Academy in um, right off of Germantown Pike for six, year, uh, six years, from kindergarten through fifth grade. And I came across Bible thumpers, um, which I hated. And we had to go to chapel every day, and it all felt kind of like a cattle call. I didn't like it. Um... As soon as I started showing uh, certain tendencies, I felt resistance based on that. Um, a couple of times when I was in the principal's office, uh, things were said to me, and basically, it just it, it left a bad taste in my mouth. Sixth grade, I went into public school, and I really enjoyed that. I actually preferred public school over Christian. Which you figure, a lot of people say, Christian school, you're getting a better, better education. No, not necessarily. Christian school, you're getting force-fed um, scripture. And I have always believed that the Bible, and I said this when I was seven years old, the Bible is a book written by men and women. And aren't we all human? So weren't those men and women that wrote the Bible sinners as well? So how can we take their word over something else? And again, that's going to offend people. I don't care. I don't care if it offends you. It's just questions that I have. And anything that I say in any one of my videos, um, I hope that you guys know that it's always intended with the utmost respect to what you believe. And yeah, sometimes I will say things, and then later on, somebody will question me and be like, but you said this, and I'll be like, yeah, I should, probably shouldn't have said that. But I don't rehearse this. And I don't, I kind of just speak to you. And sometimes when you're hanging out with friends, they'll say something and you'll call them on it and they'll say, oh wow, yeah, you're right. So Lauren, I want to thank you for calling me out because you're making me look at what I've said. And again, that's why I apologize because I in no way meant to say that you don't already use the power of positive thinking because that's not what I was actually thinking. Even though it may have sounded that way. Um, what I was really, and, and, and this is where I, I still have a lot to learn about vlogging, is I sometimes will switch trains and I don't notify you that we're getting on or off of a different train, and I just kind of train hop. And that causes confusion. Now, having said all of this, I don't think that you don't believe in the power of positive thinking. And this is the first note that I've actually made notes. I have little post-its lined up on my desk for things that I wanted to say to you specifically. Um, I assume that I know nothing about what you do believe, and so therefore, I sometimes will speak as if you don't believe something. Or maybe, 
not specifically you because like when i speak to eden on the phone we talk for hours every week eden and i speak and i will ask her like what do you believe and i guess that's really what i should have said i should have asked you i should have taken the time and had the respect to ask you what you do believe in fact instead of assuming that i know nothing and therefore challenge you to challenging you to try the power of positive thinking which you already do it could have been much more simple much mm. could have been simpler if i had just asked you do you believe in the power of positive thinking now having say that i love hearing you say that you do employ positive thinking um to a certain you know in, in your own life in your own way now for me what i do believe um it's easier to tell you what I don't believe, but I will try and tell you what I do believe, even though some of it is uncertain at best, because I don't have all the answers, and I don't ever want to pretend to, um, but I know what feels right in my heart, you know? And to me, I can honestly say that I don't believe that the universe, based on your thoughts, will deliver what you want to your couch. Maybe it sounds that way when I speak, and that's something I might need to adjust. But do I want to have a conversation with you about this? Absolutely. I will give you my cell phone number. We can get on Skype, whatever, like email, whatever. Instant Messenger, I'm always on Yahoo now because, you know, that's just how I roll. But, like, yeah, I absolutely want to have a conversation with you about this because um, it's an opportunity to learn how you view the world and I think that every time that we talk to somebody about how they view the world, it makes our knowledge a little bit stronger because we're able to see things from more than one perspective. You know, if you look at the world from your own perspective and that's all, all you ever get, it's going to be a very small world. But when you're open to looking at how other people see it, like you've been with me, you've, you've, you've asked me, like, how do you see the world? How do you see God or the law of attraction or blah, 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 blah. And I want the same in return from you. Like, absolutely, I want to know more. And I want to, you know, even just in general, as my friend, I want to get to know you better. Um, and I think Eden can vouch for the fact that I'm always respectful about what she does or doesn't believe. Um, I never want to offend somebody else and make them feel like their beliefs aren't just as every bit as important and as acceptable as mine. Because they are. Um, and we're almost at eight minutes. Jeez. Um, okay, so what do I believe? I do not believe in a singular God. And that's going to offend people. But again, I really don't care because I'm only talking about my beliefs. I don't expect any of you to match me or to convince me because you can't. Only I can tell myself what I'm going to believe. So, Lauren, I don't believe in, a, in, in one puppet master that controls all the strings. I believe, personally, when I speak of the universe... Um, I actually have recently developed certain, what I believe to be psychic abilities. Um, they're not a thousand percent or even a hundred or even 80 or even 60 percent reliable because I'm just learning about them. But I do know that I believe in something after this. I don't believe about the, I don't believe pearly gates. I don't necessarily believe in God, Jesus, and all that happy stuff. Even though sometimes when I do pray, I do say God. But to me, it's more or less a higher power. And I believe that all of us are connected by energy. Like when I think of the universe, I think of another, almost another realm. And I think of the universe as energy that consists of all of us. I believe that a part of me is a part of the universe and that's how I get messages and guidance that's how I hear that little voice that some people call conscience some people call it um, God speaking in your mind whatever you want to call it I believe that I am connected to the universe and I believe that a part of me um, is a part of an ancient wise energy I don't believe in the Big Bang Theory for the earth I believe that the earth happened exactly as it needed to based on something. I don't exactly know what that something is. But I don't believe that, um, sorry my nose is itching, which means hopefully that I'm not going to get in a fight. Um, I believe that, 
I believe that I don't have all the answers. And I'm not being safe. I'm honestly telling you I don't know everything. But I do believe that um, the universe is, is, is very real. And I believe that the universe reacts. But I don't believe that the universe will bring you what you want just because of your thoughts. I believe that the universe likes speed. The universe requires action. You have to be pitching balls to the universe to get a home run. You can't sit on your couch and say, I want a million dollars. And I'm just going to sit here and watch TV and visualize and think about it until that million dollars shows up. Ed McMahon is not coming to your house, peeps. He's not. You have to get out there and do things. You have to get out there and actively manifest. And maybe that's not something that I've said before, and I should have. But basically... As far as the universe goes, I kind of take a little bit from Don Miguel Ruiz's The Four Agreements, which is actually a book that I've read on my YouTube channel in its entirety that you can go back and listen to those videos. And basically, it comes from Native American um, background. And, and, and essentially, it's a part of us. A part of your soul is actually a part of I can't explain it like he did. I, I just can't. Um, but I take a little bit from each religion. Um, I'm not doing this justice because, honestly, I don't have all the answers. And I don't... Even if I did, I probably wouldn't spout them out like I think I know everything. I really don't feel like I know everything. In fact... If I could measure the amount of fear that I have because I don't know everything, it would be a lot. It would be a lot. And a part of me acts in faith, but it's not really a faith in the universe as a god. It's a part of me is acting in faith in the universe and knowing that I need to make things happen which is even scarier because I know I'm fucked up I know I'm human and I'm gonna ma make mistakes and I'm not gonna employ my energy the right way and I know that I'm not gonna do things right always but the important thing is I believe in in the overall energy I believe that all of us have the capability to impact our surroundings with energy I also believe that mother nature is kind of its own force and that it does respond to the energy that we put out. I believe that if everybody in this world started thinking differently about our earth. Um, and, and that would impact their actions. And the world would become a better place. I really do, as naive as it sounds, believe that with your thoughts impacting your surroundings. Because your thoughts impact your actions without, without, without fail. And then your actions impact your surroundings. And so you're manifesting things around you as you speak. And that I know I believe without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, I believe that. Um, it's, it's really hard to say exactly how I view God. Because I've never felt comfortable kneeling down. Even as a kid, I never felt comfortable praying to this bearded dude in the sky that was supposedly chilling at some pearly gates. It all sounded like way too much of like, you know, just, it, it's just far-fetched. So I, I don't classify myself as an atheist. I classify myself as spiritual. And I also try to always acknowledge that I really don't know exactly how I feel about God and so on and so forth except that I do believe that a part of us I do believe in reincarnation I can tell you that I do believe in a place after this and I just don't know exactly how it all happens um, I've got to end this because I'm almost at 15 minutes I want to talk to you about this more peeps leave questions in my pants and um, in the comments which are under my pants, on my chair, I don't know. Um, that's all. I, I hope that I've explained this with respect and, and much love. Peep out.